Hello everyone, this is Jackie again, and I just wanted to share my um, little experiment with my art journal. And so last night was just about getting a feel for the colors and the textures and the consistencies of all the goodies that I got. And so not really, not really doing, I don't know, do you call these layouts when you do a page? I don't know, but anyway, not really doing that so much as just getting a feel for for all the different mediums and the colors and, and whatever. So it, it was not really a, a intentional color palette or anything. Just, um, again, just checking out the colors and, and the cons consistency so that I was familiar with them. Um, and I forget who said that he really didn't consider his mistakes failures. They were just learning experiences. You learn what not to do or how not to do something. And so that that's what uh, I accomplished last night. Some things worked for me, some didn't. Some things I probably just need more practice with. So the first page I used um, the Heidi Swap Amethyst and the Chartreuse. I also used um, this Distress Ink, the Dusty Concord. I used the silks in the Snapdragon and the Pretty Peridot. And um, let's see. And I did use this um, Gelatos. I don't know the name, I don't know the color, but it's just the green one. And I used the stamp. And I tried to use this, but this might be one of those things that I just need to practice with because it didn't c come out right. Um, I did try to hide the, the fact. And then there was a little bleeding from the other side to this side. You can kind of see that in the corner here. Um, not too worried about it, but um, I'll just have to learn to be more careful. So the first thing I did, I did not apply gesso to the whole page. I just used that Crafters Workshop Antiquity stencil and I used some gesso. And I'd seen someone do that and it just gives it a really subtle texture. Unfortunately, it's not very crisp and I don't know if it was user error or if I just need to get some gesso with a thicker consistency because the stuff I get is from Joann's. It's the cheap one. So maybe that was the problem. I just need something a, a little bit thicker. But um, I, I just like that subtle texture and it, and it acts like a resist, you know, against the ink. So when you dab up the excess ink, you know, it just kind of allows this to show through. So that was a really nice effect, I think. Um, all in all. And um, you can see where I sprayed the, the chartreuse and then the amethyst and then the chartreuse some more. And then what I did was I stamped with that foam stamp and the green gelatos. Um, I'm not really fond of that. Uh, not a real crisp image. But again, not sure if that's user error. Maybe I just need to practice a little more, or maybe I need to use a different medium. Maybe stamping with gelatos isn't just isn't for me. I don't know. But you know, I like the the color is nice and it has a really pretty shimmer to it. And then um, what was funny is I, there was a little piece of um, bubble wrap sitting on the table, and so I thought, oh well, that's a perfect opportunity to use that. Um, pretty peridot and so I used that bubble wrap to, to kind of stamp on there and then there's that snapdragon there was a lid to a spray bottle that I used and I just really love that color it's so pretty and then I tried doing the that drip effect at the top where I put the ink and then I just um, spritz it with some water and just kind of let it run down the page um, I kind of forgot you know that it wasn't all the way dry and I you know did this and it kind of smeared it some but um, you can't really tell so that stuff is super thick um, but all in all I like the color so just really really pretty and so that was that page and um, you know good learning experience I, I like the colors now um, oops, sorry on this page I just used the gelatos I just picked three colors and then just did, you know, a gradation of color, darkest, medium, and then the lightest. And I, you know, just wanted to get a feel for the, you know, the blendability of the product and the colors. And so, you know, I really like that. So this will be a nice base for something. And then this one has to be my favorite, not necessarily because of the colors, but because I decided that this is one of my new favorites. This Artist Lofts Coarse Texture Gel. I love, love, love this. 
And the colors for this one um, was the peach, the Heidi Swap peach, and then the Heidi Swap tinsel. And it's just a really, really dark um, silver. As you can see, it's just kind of dark, really uh, concentrated color. And then I used uh, the gold gelatos. I just wanted to see how metallic the color really was, and it, it is super metallic. I mean, look at that. It's just super shimmery, really awesome. And I used my Crafters Workshop Mini Harlequin. Is it Harlequin or Harlequin? I don't know. Anyway, um, and then the Saw Crafters Brick. I, I messed this one up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but that one I messed up a little bit. But anyway, the texture of that gel is just amazing. I love it. It just feels really gritty, like um, like kind of like sandpaper. Like if you mixed sand with um, acrylic paint. So just super awesome. I love that stuff. Um, I also used it on this stencil. I don't know that I really like that texture for this pattern, but um, I just wanted to get a feel for it, and I love it. Just love, love, love it. So I think I want to try to get the iridescent medium because I think that would be really interesting with this particular stencil. So I may be going back um, to get that. And so you can see... I used the silver here and here, and then the peach on the on the brick patterns. And so, yeah, I really like that metallic um, gelatos. Really interesting. Um, and I also wanted to say that if you don't shop at joannes.com, they really, really have some interesting stuff going on right now. And you get free shipping with a minimum of $25 purchase. And a lot of their scrapbooking stuff is on, on sale. Some of it's 50% off. And I noticed they had some stuff. They have Lindy's, by the way. They have Lindy's Stamp Gang, but it's the powders. Um, and they also have this um, stamp called, uh, or this line that's called inky antics and that stuff is hilarious and then they also have one it's called i think heartfelt creations just really really i just really like those stamps and i don't know um hopefully i can get some more things depending on because uh, i get paid from michael's this coming thursday so if i have any extra money i might be buying some of that stuff but just really really interesting um, stamps. I really like that. And also I found um, this website called Ali Stamps on Etsy, I believe. The shipping for me was reasonable. And they have the black gelatos that I want, so I'll be going to check that out as well. And then they had some Christy Tomlinson um, stencils and the rub-ons and, you know, just all that interesting stuff. And the prices were good. And as I mentioned, the shipping was good for me as well. So definitely if you have an opportunity, go check that out. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and um, don't forget to check out my video for the giveaway, and please comment if you haven't already. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.